In example four, we want to find an equation of the circle whose diameter has endpoints of 3, negative 4, and 3, 3. So let's draw a picture to understand what we're looking at here. If this is my circle, and here's my center, my diameter is a line that goes from one side of the circle through the center. So it's going to be on the circle, it's going to pass through the middle to the other side of the circle. These points here on the end are called my endpoints of my diameter. So there's one endpoint of the diameter, there's another endpoint of the diameter. These two points, which I'll make them yellow, so those yellow points are the endpoints of the diameter. And remember, there's a, there's a lot of different diameters that you could have. This one has these specific endpoints of 3, negative 4, and 3, 3. So if we know these two points, and in order to write our equation, we need the h, the k, and the r, the first thing we need to know is what is this point here in the middle? What is the center of our circle? To find the center of the circle, since both of these, from this yellow point to the middle, and from this middle to the yellow point, are the same value, that's our radius, that's r, we can go ahead and find what we call the midpoint. To find the midpoint, which is our center, we take the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So to find our center, we're going to take 3 plus 3. So that's coming from our x values, this 3 plus this 3. And then since we're doing average, we would divide that by 2. And to find the average of the y coordinates, we're going to take this negative 4 plus this 3 right here. So we get negative 4 plus 3, and we'll divide that by 2. If we take 3 plus 3, we get 6, and 6 divided by 2 would give us 3. So we know the x-coordinate of our center is 3. And to find the y-coordinate, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Divided by 2 will leave us with that fraction, negative 1 half. And therefore, this is our h and this is our k. Next, what we need to find is we need to find the radius. To find the radius, we need the distance, just like we did in the previous example, from the center to one of the endpoints. So now that we know the center is 3, negative 1 half, we just need one other point. So we could choose either endpoint that we want to use in order to find this out. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose the point 3, 3. So I'm basically going to find the distance between my center, which is 3, negative 1 half, and one of the endpoints, and the one I chose was the point 3, 3. You could choose the other one if you want. And this is going to give me my radius. So my radius is going to be the square root. And again, to find that distance formula, we are going to subtract the y's. So 3 minus a negative one half would be plus one half squared. And then add that, we could subtract our x's, three minus three, and then square that. With your distance formula, because we're adding these two numbers together, it doesn't matter whether you put your x's or your y's first, as long as you're adding them together and keeping the x's together and the y's together. If I simplify this, I get the square root of 12.25. And then for my equation, I need r to be squared. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to square it, which gives me r squared equal to 12.25. And now I'm ready to write my equation. So my answer is going to be x minus the h value. And remember, we found h over here. h was 3 squared plus y minus my k value. Since k is a negative 1 half, subtracting a negative will make that a positive 1 half. And that's going to be squared equal to r squared. And we found r squared to be 12.25. Next, I would like you to do the try this. So you can pause it now and unpause it when you're ready to check your answer. If you did the try this correctly, you should get x minus 5 squared 
plus y plus 2 squared equal to 17. If you have any questions, please let me know.